Hello, Professor Alan. Here, Mauricio Franco. Today, I will present you my homework number one for Unity 2. So, I know this is probably boring to remember you who is my character. I know that you know, but yeah, this guy. <laughs> so, I use this guy with for creating my idea. In this case, it will be a guy who is escaping from police. But before that, um, I will show you um, the scripting that we made on class, in class, right? So the second one, the new one uh, for my mechanics is, uh, well, this is the, the scripting. And it was pretty challenging for me uh, to figure out how to do two, two things. But I, I will show you. So, um, first of all, I want to show you how this, that, uh, how this is working um, by playing the game. So my character will have like a, like a, it's not a power, it's kind of attack, and power, kind of power, uh, which is uh, throwing paint to the um, walls and probably grounds. Uh, do you remember that I told you? Well, here I got some issue. If you see here, I didn't um, write uh, the name correctly. So in this case, I have that issue and I have to uh, check, totally check what was the issue. What Well, well I fix it, then yeah. So pressing E or um, the left click of the mouse, you can throw paint. So my character have found like a magical paint uh, that um, he used in order to uh, make some holes in the walls in the, in the ground too, and in order to feel uh, him himself, I mean, this is a poor guy that doesn't have money. So he uh, tries to get some food from some like bazaars or markets in that age. So hmm. he will try to escape from policemen who is or who are uh, changing him. So this is my first stuff that my character would do. And then where you see this red uh, spot, you can use your like power to make that kind of holes. So let's see how this working this um, code. Well, first of all, uh, I use um update. Then uh, I use input get button down. I was trying with this one and get button too, but I that one worked for me. So in this case was a little bit tricky because I was using um the the button name from with e, uh but doesn't work well. So I check um the the settings and I remember that you told us that. Fire one is for attack, and you can set it by using two like um, keywords. In this case, letter E and the the left um, click of the mouse. So was better to use this one. And if that is true, so I had to ask for some pieces of advice for in. in in this case, um, Ran recommend me use this one that uh, create an object. In this case, that what I create was the splash, which is an object, which is like a PNG uh, using a, like a sprite. And then uh, if you see here, um, using that, you have to set the position where do you want to to throw uh, the splash in this case uh, using this one, 
you can uh, set the position. Uh, if you see this um, uh, sphere here, you can um, make that distance between the player and the, the, um, the splash. And that one is like a requirement to uh, to understand where is the 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 player. So for the um, for the ground, I use this uh, like a basic uh, code that we learn in Unity One. That is something that I really <laughs> love to use because it's pretty easy. But here was a little bit tricky because I use letter E and, and and as I said before, but I realized that the best way to do it is selecting the 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 attack, which is fire one. So Jager stay because you you had to be here, right? Uh, uh compare to player, it's true. Uh if you press um in this case, E and left uh, click of the mouse. If it's true, you will swap. Uh, and that is something that I really want to do for walls uh, and grounds. So that is what I did for this assignment. Um, probably is basic, but for me it was pretty challenging. And challenging, and I think that um, I can create something pretty funny using this basic um, code. So thank you, Professor Alan, and I will see you next class. Bye-bye.